I need you, I need you to meet me here. I need you to recognize this with me. I'm missing the feeling of being wine drunk with someone that I care about. So naturally I want a friend to come over and drink wine with me while I'm putting my clothes away in my new apartment. Do you see? Do you see? Are you meeting me here? Are you coming to this place with me where you're picturing me hanging up my gloves and us drinking glasses of wine and listening to Taylor Swift? Okay. And then we're going to complain about life and talk about our friends as we do. So I'm missing that. And I've come to the conclusion social media has kept me from feeling lonely. for the past few months. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm glad you enjoyed coming here with me. So I really miss TikTok right now. I had a couple glasses of wine and I'm just like laying in my bed and I just want to be scrolling. Oh, it's so hard not to download it. Ugh. They were just running around and playing. It's so freaking cute. I'm on a hammock at my apartment and don't talk about my under eye bags, okay? I had a couple glasses of wine last night. Things are really good, like really good. Okay, like too good. You can't beat it. It's 80, a couple clouds in the sky, Friday afternoon. It's literally 10.45 in the morning, it's not afternoon. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> the dog's so cute. He keeps barking at me because he can't reach me. <laughs> you don't have the New York City subway. Um, the dogs are really cute. They're really cute. They were just running around and chasing each other. Oh, scam like me. So, I was gonna catch you guys up on some things. Um, I'm broke. What's new? And, yeah, I had a couple accounting interviews this week. Three, to be exact. Um, I think I'm gonna get them all. I'm gonna have to make a choice. Ha ha ha, so fun. Um, no, really, but I am hoping that it did go well. I did get a serving job yesterday, so I start that on Saturday just as an in-between thing. I really want to have a full-time job in this next chapter of my life because I'm tired of working until 2 a.m. Like, this girl needs her sleep. But um, I do fear that, like, full-time jobs are more exhausting, but... You know, maybe it's for the best. Maybe I'll do both and I'll just work part-time at the other place. Um, just to stack up some cash. Like, I gotta pay some things off and save some money. So, next topic. Um, socially, thriving. Financially, making it by, barely. And physically, 10 out of 10. I worked out four days this week and I'm taking today off um, because I drank wine last night and didn't wake up till nine today, which feels really late for me. <laughs> That's like insane. Like I usually wake up at 7.30 and saying that out loud makes me feel like an imposter. I don't know. Um, I'm really liking the hammock. It reminds me of when I was in elementary school. My best friend, Amelia, used to have a hammock in her backyard and we would just sit on it and talk 
for hours and I miss it deeply. Um, Amelia, if you see this, hi, I love you. But like, it's 80 degrees. It's 80 degrees outside, guys. I'm so much more of a nature person than I thought. Like I really like, being outside is so important and I guess it took me being in New York to like realize that. Um, and I just am a happier person when I go outside for the day. And you can do that in a place that's warm year round. It doesn't snow. Like I just want you guys to comprehend that it doesn't snow, okay? I'm gonna be doing this every week of the year yeah look how much fun i'm having i'm literally just swaying new video me silently sitting here swaying on a hammock good morning, people. It's time to get ready. Good morning. Ryan, all right listen so, so here's what we're gonna do I got some makeup to do. <laughs> it's Friday night, so that means it's time to go out and party. But just kidding, because <laughs> a bitch is broke. And it's also International Mexican Heritage Day, I think. And you know my bestie girl, <laughs> she's Mexican, because this is Texas, okay? So, we're gonna party. But it's time to do my hair and makeup, and I'm gonna get ready to Lizzo. <sighs> If you're looking for the sun, bitch, I'm it. Alright, so you heard. And huh, let me get ready. Be a Do you hear that? It's my neighbor's shower. Why is that so loud? Anyway, makeup's done. Hair is next, but I forgot I need to vacuum. It's off now. I forgot I need to vacuum my car today, so I'm gonna go do that first um, because I don't wanna wait until my hair is done because my hair is just gonna be my way and I'm not gonna wanna put my hair up, so <laughs> BRB. And then I'll do the next one. <laughs> you are nothing but a dumb player, I get it. Fraud player, I get it. You ain't the man, you ain't the man. You ain't the something I understand. Hound dog, hound dog, hound dog. You ain't nothing but a. Anyway, I just needed to do that. Thank you. I have to let the vacuum charge. So I'm doing my hair now, I guess. So, I don't know if you guys remember, but if you watched my last video, there was supposed to be a party on Friday. Well, today is that day. Today is Friday. Party got canceled. Gabby works until like 1 a.m. And I don't know what Cerise is doing, but party got canceled for whatever reason. It's postponed until next Saturday. So, now a small group of us are going out. Me, Gabby, Alexia, Wilson, and Elric. But... Get this. I've already met all of them. And I was really excited to meet new people today. Oh, but it's fine. Because I'm so really excited to spend that with them. Because it's been like a year. Uh, I haven't seen Gabby in a year. I already saw Alric and Wilson both this week. But I'm still excited nonetheless. Um, but the vibe is more casual dinner. So help me pick out an outfit. Ready, please? <laughs> keeping the hair up because it's time to go vacuum my car let's go i have been extremely confused about what to wear so i threw on get this yet another black top okay wait you can't even see me from there this is cute until the the zipper broke this is what i get for thrifting oh literally it won't i don't even it's not are we for real and I just don't, I've been feeling, uh, I'm having some body image issues lately, and um, not like myself, so time to change. 
Okay, guys, listen. I think we found a winner. Now, when I had picked this shirt out of the closet, I was like, I don't know. I don't know. But, like, it's giving. No bra, little tattoo moment. So, I'm really excited now because I found something I feel good in. It's crazy how an outfit changes your whole perspective on your day. Oh my god. Alright, so here's what we're working with. And I know the hair is giving gay. It's always giving gay. I really I wish I had some dry shampoo and like I don't think I have anything. I left it at my mom's, but it's okay. It's still it's still pretty cute, right? And so on top of that, we've got this is the vibe. But then does this dress shirt go with the undershirt? Because like look, like do I even need this dress shirt? And I wish you could hold on. Okay, I want you to see it like this, right? Like as a whole with the jeans, it's really cute. Like I just steamed this shirt, okay? It was wrinkly and now it's not. So I wanna wear it. And then with some like, some sandals. Some sandals, but nothing dressy. Oh, I can wear some dressy shoes. I don't want to. I think I wanna dress casual. So she said casual dinner. I'm thinking for the sandals, I would do like fake works. You know what I mean? So, ooh, so sorry. I'm gonna cut that out. Um, but yeah, this is the vibes. I really, the dress shirt is really elevating it for me. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to wear the dress shirt either way. Um, yeah, and I don't have to be there for like another hour and 30 minutes. So I think I might make some food. Just like prep it for the weekend, you know. So I have food made because I just ate the left, the left, the, the left, the rest of my leftovers. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, you know I'll be burping. Yeah, I could pull it down, but... I get a little shy, so probably won't. Uh, what? Uh, yeah. I, a couple of my friends coming up from Houston. Uh, Brian. Thank <laughs> you.